We're in Morgan City, and uh, we're at the Shrimp and Petroleum Festival. This is the 75th anniversary of this festival. The two industries of the shrimp and petroleum uh, coming together, I guess, in the eyes of the world, uh, it's strange. But here in Louisiana, we've, uh, we've grown up with it. Uh, we've had shrimp and, and seafood for all of our lives, and then the petroleum industry for the last 60 years has been a part of the culture of South Louisiana. The intent of our festival is to salute two industries which at different times changed the face of the economy of Morgan City. We had uh, attendance of about 150,000. And I'm gonna tell you, it's gotta be that and more this year. All of the festival events uh, will take place over the course of the Labor Day weekend, uh, starting with a car show. We have a carnival, good food, good music, and of course, a lot of beverages. We have tremendous amount of shrimps. I've had my fill already. We've had shrimp fettuccine, fried shrimp, ball shrimp. We've had it any way and every way. We, shrimp's plentiful in Morgan City, Louisiana this weekend. In our Cajun culture, it's been greatly associated with the faith and a celebration. And so we come together asking God's blessing on this new year uh, in the shrimping and petroleum industry. And then we have a celebration. That's always been the Cajun mentality that we pray to God and then we have a party afterward. And as I was down the bayou, they always would end by saying, let's go pass a good time. <laughs> and if you don't, it's not God's fault. <laughs> as we move from the uh, mass directly to the Atchafalai River, where we have the traditional blessing of the fleet, uh, which is the, the way the festival actually got started in 1936. Well, this is the blessing of the fleet, which started, really is what started this festival before they went out to, to shrimp to protect them. In the last five years, this area has gone through tremendous upheaval, starting with Hurricane Katrina, Rita, Gustav, and on. And of course, the spill is the latest for that. But at the same time, these people are used to bouncing back. They're used to taking things at its stride, handling it, and moving on. And, I, and that spirit, is, I think, is what you're seeing illustrated today at the festival. And we decided to be in a slice of America where we can have it all, where we can celebrate the greatness of a shrimp industry and at the same time, the greatness of a petroleum industry. Because what happens in Morgan City and in coastal Louisiana, we not only energize and fuel America, but we also feed America. Here locally, people, in my perception, understand that BP is stepping to the plate and doing what they can. There's obvious frustration. There's frustration of, about the spill and what the spill has caused for their livelihood. And that's something that will be there for a while and have to be overcome. Our community is, makes its livelihood on the water, both in the shrimping industry and the seafood industry, as well as the uh, oil related. And they supply all these oil companies with things that's necessary to make those production platforms work. BP and its heritage companies have been here for over 60 years. And we've established a reputation that we do it right. We make things right. If something happens wrong, we fix it.